Hello everybody, it's Christine and it's time for Scrap Lift Crafternoon. And it's always so fun when we scrap lift one of our own, which we do when it's their birthday month. So this is Miss Kristen's layout. It is her birthday this month. And we are going to be scrap lifting this one. And what she's got is kind of a half and half, right? So she's got the butterflies on one and the little rainbow on the other. And then there's a strip down the middle with a picture. And then she's kind of got some little layers and some embellishments kind of sprinkled around. So this will be this will be fun. And it actually works out perfectly because I have the last of my May um, 2023 hip kit collection. And I actually had a different thought initially. And then I saw this was my assignment this week. And I thought, oh, this is perfect because I have this rainbow. Now hers is a diagonal, mine's not, but that's okay. Um, and I can cut this guy in half. And then I have plenty, plenty of branding strips to choose from with this collection, y'all. And I think this little floral is gorgeous. So I think I might do this. I think this one's the prettiest. Uh, uh, not the prettiest necessarily, but I think this will look really neat. So, and then the picture I have is my daughter. It's just kind of this cute little selfie she sent me. They were, she was up in, uh, y'all don't get me lying. I get the, the states up north mixed up. And so it's either Minnesota or Wisconsin. Usually when she's up there, I call it, uh, Miss Conson, because I can't remember which state she's in, but it's one of those, and they were doing like a little parade or something for their nutrition club up there, so that's what I think I'm going to do, and then I do still have like a few little embellishments, these cute little clouds, I might do something with these little clouds, just because I still got them, and I have some little frames, some of these are not from this collection, to be honest, but I pulled these out for another layout, and I still have them out, so I'll just probably use, I, I kind of think, uh, you know, Kristen's philosophy is scrap it on the fly, right? That's her channel and all that. And she just kind of does things, you know, sometimes. Oh, and I also have these cute little things. So this might be fun. She doesn't have this, but what if I make little flowers coming up, y'all, just for the heck of it? And then I have to think about a title. I don't know what it could be. I don't know. Maybe it could be sunshine something or something sunshine. You are my sunshine. How's that? I may not make that. I have to look see if I have letters. That could be cute. Um, anyway, so that's when I'm going to get started. So let me cut the papers and we will get to going. We'll see you soon. Okay, gang. So, um, as you can see, I, I did go ahead and get, I didn't mention this in the intro, I don't think, but I did pick out a, a piece of white cardstock as a base because it looked to me, I think, I'm pretty sure she had put those two pieces, those two halves on a white cardstock base. And so I've done that. And then I've got my little strip down the middle, which I really enjoy that. And now I'm just mounting my photo. I noticed that she had, uh, mounted her photo, on like a solid piece of color or whatever. So I just, or at least left it to me anyways. And so I've decided to use orange because I was using those greens. I'm gonna use my greens in a minute because I'm now I'm at, the, at this point for the photo pieces here, I'm kind of down to scraps, y'all. So I mounted my photo on the orange and then I got the little green kind of pattern, the darker green pattern. And I'm now looking at all what have I got in the way of scraps over here. And I'm gonna end up deciding to use my real light green floral, which I think is the back side of the rainbow paper, if I'm not mistaken. That's going to end up being where I kind of have that pink stripe. I pull that out and I use this. So that's going to be really pretty, I think. Um, I'm going to end up making this little photo mat here. And you see that little floral I have there with the hole in it. That's going to end up being the bottom mat. And you won't see that hole. It's going to end up getting covered up. But I think that turned out real pretty too, because it's right up next to the, the rainbows and stuff. And let me think. So yeah, I'm going to make this little photo mat here. I'll just trim this because it doesn't go all the way across. Um, it's kind of a neat little layout here because you got the offsets on the photo mats, which I really enjoy that because then you use the right hand side for embellishments and stuff, which she did. Now I end up tweaking it just a tad just because I don't know why. I, I, oh, I do too know why. I'll, you'll see in a second. I do something a little different at the top and it, it, it would throw off the balance, I think, if I'd done exactly how she did it. I did start here with that little uh, piece of ephemera right there in that upper right where she had a little piece, but that's going to go away. And again, it's mostly because I do something at the top that she didn't do. Like I, do, I totally went rogue on the top up there. But the other thing I did too is, of course, she used a real dark side on the right hand side, and I've got this light side. But I wanted my title letters to stick out and all that. Plus, that's just kind of what I had left, y'all. <laughs> I actually looked at that green pattern as the possible right hand side, but I decided against it because I think it, the titles and stuff are going to stand out better on this. So now I'm going to kind of commit to my photo section here that's getting laid down. And she kind of had, um, what have I got going on, y'all? I can't even see it. I guess I laid something down. She has this kind of circular element to the left of her photo. And I did have this chipboard wreath over here. I don't really do a lot to this. It kind of just acts as its circular element. But I, I think it's pretty, so I'm not, I'm not sad about it. Um, and then I'm, I'd look at these. Y'all, this gets a little bit choppy because I do kind of look and um, poke around and do some 
laying stuff down and then changing my minds and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see, I'm, I'm going to end up getting a little bit choppy in a minute. Um, there's also a little piece down at the bottom that's a little circular element. I'm going to end up pulling that chipboard circle out with the little black pattern on it. But I don't do that right this moment. I've decided that title is You Are My Sunshine is what my title is going to be. So I have the sunshine and I lay it down kind of the normal way. I, in other words, I just lay it down. I have the regular dot for the eye and everything. But I'm going to do something with some little pieces of ephemera in a minute that makes me change up how I do the sunshine piece here. But I'm going to lay it down because I do like that. And then I'm going to get into the little puffy, or not puffy, the foam letters that are kind of rainbowy colored. And it's gonna, I'm going to have to pull out You Are My. And I fast around with that too. So when I start messing with that, you'll see me. I'm going to kind of cut away because, again, this, like I said, gets a little choppy because I have to kind of organize things. But I am going to just make this You Are My. So I'll start laying this down. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit regretful of, and I don't really know a good solution, is I do put a couple of the letters on top of the photo. And, of course, there's multiple paper layers here. So it's a little bit um, higher up, like level-wise, than the letters that are just on the paper. But I don't think it's that big a deal. And I think inside a page protector, it's not going to matter. So now you can see my You Are My Sunshine. And then now I'm, I found this little chipboard tag up there. I had a different piece up there, but then I was looking at my chipboard, and I go, oh, this looks a little more like what she's got going on. So I put that up there, and, of course, I can end up writing the date and stuff like that. So my little piece of ephemera there is going to go off to the side. And I don't end up actually using that. I set that off to the side. Y'all, Saturn gets a little sassy in a minute. She actually tries to bite me, but I don't know if that's on camera or not. She's going to end up having to get moved, but she's on here most of the layout, so you can see half her body <laughs> laying there. Um... What have I got going on? Oh, I find these two little pieces of leaf ephemeras, and I, I kind of felt like I had a big hole right there in that title. And so this is where, in, in just a minute, I'm actually going to end up gluing those down. I'm going to decide that I need something to anchor their little base. So I'll stick a heart there, and I'm going to end up making that be the I dot. But I don't do that for just a minute, so you'll see that. Um, I think I'm adding a few little pieces. At the, what am I doing, y'all? This little box on top of our videos when we're trying to record kind of covers up the bottom half oh so she had a little notebook paper looking journaling thing on the left side of her photo and i had this little scrap here that i had previously cut um these little diamond pieces or whatever you want to call it so i thought you know what instead of the notebook punch i'm gonna do these little diamond pieces because it was already cut and i was being a little bit lazy so i have to trim that down just a hair and i'm gonna stick that underneath there she actually had i think either a little stencil work there's something on it um I, it looked like ink to me, and I don't know 100%. I didn't do any of that because I thought the little soft polka dot looked kind of pretty, so I leave it alone. Um, but I tried to at least kind of do like she did with that little notebook punch over there, so I got a little extra. And I think, like I said, I've got the little circle at the bottom. I'll end up adding a little tag, a little banner underneath all this, but I don't even know if I do that on camera, to be honest with you. I find it at the end when I'm kind of cleaning up, and sometimes that happens, y'all. I'll be, I'll think I'm done with a layout, and I start picking stuff up, and I realize this one little old piece is going to be just perfect on top of my layout. Now, here's where I noticed she had a couple little squares. Uh, I think they were chipboard frames that she had filled in with the pattern paper. So I do that here. I've taken a little chipboard frame, and I filled it in with that little pink and yellow, like, chevron-looking paper there. And I'll do that again down in the bottom right in a minute, because I actually look back at her layout again, and I'll go, oh, shoot, she's got one down there, too, so I'll have to add it. Now, these little clouds here, this is what I'm adding that's not on her layout in any way, shape, or form. She had a little cluster in the very top in the middle, kind of, but I have all these clouds, y'all, and i got to use them. So I thought, you know, this could be cute here, and I'm kind of like saying she's the sunshine. So I thought it would be kind of a cute little, I don't know. In my mind, I'm going, okay, she's the sunshine in my clouds kind of thing, so... That's what I guess I was thinking, <laughs> and plus I get to use my clouds. And then I decided I'm going to take some little silver hearts and stick them amongst them. Um, I don't know why I did that, except I just thought it would look pretty with the silver up there because I do have sunshine, and that was the only silver I had otherwise. So I'll add that little silver at the top, and that might be when I decide. I'm pretty certain that's when I actually decide in a minute that I need to make that eye for that sunshine be the heart. So here's where I start gluing these down. I'll glue this down in just a second, y'all, with a little Nuvo glue. And that's when I go, oh, and also you need a little heart there. Look, Saturn, she's giving herself a bath, y'all. And she gets she gets her hair everywhere when I'm working. She's just pulling it out. She's hot right now, y'all. I guess because it's summertime and she's got real long hair. And she just yanks it out, y'all. I, I went around the house this weekend. I was sweeping. And there's just wads of hair. She's just kind of yanking it out because I, I say she's yanking it out. I don't really know. She's probably shedding it. In my mind, I go, she must be just yanking these piles of hair fur out and dropping them on the house. Um, they're real soft though. She has like this, I have no idea what kind of cat this is, y'all. She's just a little old, we picked her out of the shelter, you know, 14 years ago. 
and she's beautiful, but, and she might be some kind of mixed breed or something because she's got like a downy undercoat and then these longer hairs on the outside. I, so she, I don't know what kind of cat she is, but she's pretty, but she dang sure has all this hair, y'all. All right, so I'm gluing this down. I had to reorganize my sunshine to make the eye be far enough over for the heart to make sense as the dot. So I just reorganized that just a little bit. And that, I'll pick up, I'll pick up my stuff here. And this is where I think I realized I had that other little square I need to put together. So I'll find that little square frame down there. And I'll fill it with the same pattern paper. I looked at her lid. I don't believe she had any others. I don't think she had like three. I think she just had the two. And I'll end up finding a little puffy sticker. I did put a puffy sticker in the upper left. It was like a little heart. Or like, like the little like thing like off of Instagram. And then the down, the one down here at the bottom, I'm going to find a little puffy sticker that's just a couple little flowers that looks like they've been attached with washi tape. And I stick those on the inside. I do enjoy this technique of using a little chipboard frame, a little pattern paper, and using it as like a little teeny tiny mini layout. I think that's a really cute technique. So... And then that's basically all I do. Y'all saw me touching it, so you know I'm about done. So I'm going to slow it down here so you can take a look. I think this is so cute. Thank you, Kristen, for making such a cute layout for us to scrap lift. And happy birthday, my friends. You're a beautiful soul. I enjoy listening to you and chatting with you in our little groups and stuff like that. So I hope you have a wonderful birthday. We love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the playlist. I'll be a bunch of ladies playing along. And y'all have a wonderful day. Talk soon. Bye-bye.